up. When taking off or landing on a contaminated runway, covered with a significant amount of water, the water spray created by the nose wheels during ground roll may affect the engine's behavior. In addition, the water spray of all wheels may damage hydraulic pipes and electrical harnesses on the gears, antennas, etc. A first model of the geometry of the water spray of the nose wheels, as a function of the water depth, is computed. It is validated by tests on the airplane with no crosswind. Corrections are then applied up to the maximum crosswind demonstrated for takeoff and landing to evaluate if there is a significant risk of water ingestion by the engines. For the tests, a 100 meter long water trough is built on Istre Air Base runway. Due to the lateral runway slope, necessary for drainage in normal operations, the trough is divided into pools in order to maintain the required water depth in each area. The precise geometric definition of the pools depends on the aircraft characteristics. Usually, there is one pool for each gear and at least one for each engine. For specific tests, only part of the trough may be installed. The tests are conducted with a minimum depth of 15 mm of water and an average of 22.5 mm. The tests and the analysis with added crosswind cover all the possible situations that may happen in operations at takeoff and landing with various speeds and thrusts, including reverses deployed. For that, several maneuvers are performed in the trough. The general technique is to accelerate the aircraft from a predetermined start point. Its position is computed so as to reach the trough at the required speed and with the correct thrust. After passing the trough, the airplane is usually kept on ground. However, some tests may be performed with a takeoff if there is a doubt about the behavior of the radio altimeter, which is below the aft fuselage and the possible consequences on flight control laws. It may also be performed to check the risk of APU shutdown with water ingestion. The pilot must maintain the nose wheel on the center line very precisely. A lateral deviation could lead to rolling on the separation walls of some pools and damaging them. After each test, an airplane inspection is performed to check for possible damages on the gears and possibly to other parts. Photos and videos are the main measurement means. Several photographers are placed on both sides of the trough to get a lateral view. A helicopter or a drone positioned in stationary flight above the runway just after the trough is used to get the horizontal spray shape angle. As photos and videos are important outputs, good visibility is required. The crosswind should be very low, as there is a risk of aquaplaning. In this case, there is no lateral force from ground to aircraft, and therefore any crosswind will lead to a trajectory deviation which could invalidate the test. It could also damage the separation walls of the pools. In case of damage to the brakes, there may be lateral control difficulties after the water trough. For this reason, the trough is positioned so as to leave a sufficient distance for stopping in case of anomaly. These tests also allow the validation of operations with 100 mm of dry snow. Usually, these trough tests do not need to be repeated on different variants of a type of airplane 
as a good modeling of the water spray allows all the validations to be performed. However, significant modifications on the landing gears may require some specific demonstrations.